Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Are you ready for action? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's begin. We are seven people present. Okay. Seven people. Uh, good evening, everyone. Let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, modalidad online, Beginner 3. Welcome to your English class. Today is Friday, March 17th. This is class 10. You remember that this is the class that we need to repeat. So, Unit 2. The topic is Unit 2 Review and Practice. And this is the attendance, sorry, the general objective, the attendance, general objective. This is the specific objective. Danny. And this is the class objective. The class will be able to use the vocabulary and structure studied in unit two with a clear understanding. And this is the agenda. We're going to be working on past events, industry vocabulary, WH questions, talking about your company and review. Okay. Now let's go to the attendance. All right, let's go to attendance. Good evening, Alison Andrea Serrano. Anna Geraldine Mena. Present. Present, teacher. Present. Excellent. Hey, Blanca Flor Jimenez. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Excellent. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Do you know anything about Edwin? Edwin completely disappeared from the class. I don't know, teacher. He didn't work on the on the platform and he didn't do anything else. And he stopped coming. And now Edwin has only 65%. So Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Andres Martinez. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Excellent. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Oliver Van Trigueros. Omar Alexander Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Okay, 
Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Excellent. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Andrea Urbina. Present teacher. Excellent. William Boris Roque. Okay. Let's continue. We are 13 people now. Okay. Let's begin from the beginning. Um, before we begin, la encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a hacer a las ocho y cuarenta y cinco. Ocho y cuarenta y cinco. Si se me olvida, recuerden, por favor, hoy tenemos que ser puntuales a las ocho y cuarenta y cinco. Eight forty five p.m. Okay. We'll have the survey. Okay, okay. teacher. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, warm up, past events. The purpose is to discuss past events. Complete with a verb in the past. Yesterday, I what? Was. Was. Yesterday, I was to the park. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I walked to the park. Yesterday, uh -huh. I went to the park. Yesterday, I went to the park. Yesterday, I walked to the park. Yesterday, I came to the park. Okay. Now, two days ago, what do you say? Two days ago, I, a nice sweater. Options. I had a nice sweater. Had? If I had it, I had. I still have it. I haven't. Si lo tenía, todavía lo tengo. Then, what else can we say? I was, I was a nice sweater. Yo fui un, un suéter bonito, okay. Another option? Was, where is fui, fui, o fue, fueron, ¿verdad? Where? Uh -huh. I was. Yo fui un suéter bonito. Se lo digo. I has. Do they have? Eh, another option. I have. Uh -huh. I have. He has. She has. And uh, past tense had. But, but remember. Have. Uh -huh. If I had it two years ago, two days ago, I still have it, probably. It's possible. But what other verb can we use? I lost. Okay. I yeah. say. Maybe I lost. Two days ago, I say. How I wore. I wore, right? I wore a nice sweater. Uh -huh. I wore a nice sweater. I lost a nice sweater. Is possible? Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number three? Betty. To me, last week. Oh. Betty to see me, sorry. Betty to see me last week. What do we say? Won. Won. When to see me is no, possible. 
Where is the pass of one? Wanted, wanted. Wanted. Wanted to see me. Okay, it's possible. Wanted to see me. Uh -huh. Came. Came to see me. Uh -huh. Came to see me, wanted to see me. Went to swim, uh, went to see me. Okay, four. What about four? What do we use in four? Jack Eight. ate pizza last night. Eight, okay. Eight right? Uh -huh. yeah. Ex Eight. Excellent, yes. Jack Bye. ate pizza last Bo night. Bought. 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 Prepared. Exactly. Prepared or made. Made pizza. Mm -hmm. Jack made pizza last night. Jack bought pizza last night. Jack had pizza last night. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Very good. What about five? Zoo, a car accident two weeks ago. A hack, a hack, a car accident. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's possible. Had had a car accident. Also saw a car accident. She saw a car accident. What else? She was. Remember? She remembered a car accident. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to put here the meaning of was because some people are co confusing the meanings. Fue. Fui. Fue o fui. Was means fue o fui. Eh, o estuve. Fue. Estuve, fue. O estuve o estuvo. Another meaning, right? Was. Estuvo, estuvo. Y si le ponemos aquí, Susi was a car accident, entonces decimos, Susi era o fue un, car accident, un accidente de carro. No, ¿verdad? Es una persona. No podemos decir que ella era un, car, un accidente de carro. Tal vez un accidente de carro andante, pero no. Podemos decir, was, no. No, no, no. Okay, next, number six. I, what do we use in that case? I drink. Drink. Uh -huh. I past drink tense. cold soda past, yesterday. Uh -huh. What's a past tense? Drank. Excellent. Drank. Yeah, correct. Drank. Okay. Yes, my dear uncle. Yes. Yes. Correct. I drank a cold soda at Drank. noon yesterday. Seven. I my got. I got. Excellent. I got a cold soda at noon yesterday. Yes. My sister, the water bill yesterday. What do we say? Paid. 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 Right? Paid. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Paid the water bill yesterday. Number eight. I help with an exercise yesterday. What can we say? Yes, right to you. I, I asked. Um, another one, another option. Request, request. Request. I need. Needed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Needed. I needed. I requested. If requested is possible. Mm -hmm. I asked for help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. What about number nine? Jack, his wallet yesterday. Lost. Yeah, lost. Forgot. Forgot. Uh -huh. yes, lost yes. or forgot. Mm -hmm. It's possible too. Forgot or lost. Okay, 10. Tony 
money in the street yesterday. Money in the street yesterday. Found, 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 found got. Um, 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 got. Mm, God is dangerous. <laughs> God is dangerous. Overtime. Uh, overtime. <laughs> overtime. Uh -huh. Overtime. Okay. Overtime. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Consiguió dinero en la calle. Mm, what did overtime. you do? <laughs> overtime. <laughs> okay. So. Found money, lost money. Mm -hmm. Okay, lost money in the street yesterday. Yes, found money. Okay, excellent. Well, we completed the exercise. Yesterday, I went to the park. Two days ago, I lost a nice sweater. Okay, I prefer I wore, but it's okay. I'm going to put, but this is preference. Okay, so two days ago, I wore a nice sweater. Betty wanted to see me last week. Jack ate pizza last night. Zoo had a car accident two weeks ago. I drank a cold soda at noon yesterday. My sister paid the water bill yesterday. I needed help with an exercise yesterday. Jack lost his wallet yesterday. Tony found money in the street yesterday. Okay, excellent. Very good. Do you have questions? Okay, one thing. Do you have questions about the exercise? No question. No, no question. Okay, excellent. Now, yes, you're going to use was. Where were you yesterday? I was, I was at home. Where were you yesterday? I was at work. Where were you yesterday? I was at school. Okay. So, wow. 57 episodes. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue, my dear. Let's go to the groups and we practice. Where were you yesterday? I was at home. Where were you yesterday? I was at work. Okay. So let's go and practice. Since we are 16, three groups will be perfect. The groups are opening, please join. Me escucha. Yes, alguien nos puede compartir. Yo no puedo porque soy desde el teléfono. Ok, voy a intentar a ver si lo logro. Ya lo logran ver. Ah, ah ahí sí. lo, lo compartieron ya. Ya. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer parejas. Uno lee el A y otro responde el B. ¿Alguien quiere empezar? Yo, yo. Ok. <risa> Vaya, no sé qué me va a seguir. Va, yo la acompaño. Ah, ok. Empecemos. Where were you yesterday? I was at home. Where were you yesterday? I was at work. 
Where were you yesterday? I was at a school. Where were you yesterday? I was at the beach. Where were you yesterday? I was at the park. Where were you yesterday? I was at church. Si gusta intercambiamos para que usted conteste lo otro. Okay, Omar, where were you yesterday? I was uh, at the airport. Okay. Continue. Uh, Gerald, uh, where were you, ye you yesterday? I was at the park. Okay. And Alison, where were you yesterday? I was at the gym. Noe, uh, where were you yesterday? I was in the classroom. Eh, le pregunto a Omar, ¿verdad? Omar. Um, Gilbert, where were you yesterday? I was at the shopping mall. Okay. Where, where were you yesterday? Daniel? I was at the airport. Where were you yesterday, Katy? I was at the company. <clears throat> Susana, where were you yesterday? I was at the gym. Andres, where were you yesterday? I was in a hotel. Um, Gilberto, where were you yesterday? I was in the classroom. Daniel, where were you yesterday? I was at the hospital. At the stadium. Where were you yesterday? I was at the company. Where were you yesterday? I was at the gym. Where were uh, you yesterday? I was in a hotel. Where were you yesterday? I was in the classroom. Where were you yesterday? I was at the hospital. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. I was at school. Alison, where were you yesterday? I was at the at the airport. Uh, no, where were you yesterday? I was at the shopping mall. Where were you yesterday, um, Katy? Katy. I was at the stadium. Gilberto, where were you yesterday? I was at the company. Andres, where were you, where, where were you yesterday? I was at the gym. Um, Susana, 
Where were you yesterday? I was in the hotel. Gilberto, where were you yesterday? I was in the classroom. Kathy, where were you yesterday? I was in the hospital. Continue. Mientras no los quiten el tiempo. Okay. Um, Daniel, where Hi. were you yesterday? I was at home. Where Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. We use was, where, like this. I was. You were. He was. She was. It was. For plural, we were, you were, and they were. Okay. Uh, you remember this is the past tense of the verb to be. So was, quiere decir fue o estuve, right? Fue, no de ir, fue. Yo, él fue un soldado. He was a soldier. Yo fui. Eh, un conductor de bus. I, wa I was a bus driver. So in this case, you put me like this. What do we use with this, with the verb to be? We use places. We use adjectives. And uh, we use nouns. Teacher, what are the nouns? Uh, probably jobs, so you can say here. Uh, doctor, if you're a doctor, you were a doctor, you're always a doctor. So a bus driver, because you can change jobs. Or if you're a salesman. I was a salesman, okay, at home, at the beach, at the beach, tired, busy, Okay. So you can say, I was a bus driver, I was a salesman, 
I was a sail, I was at home, I was at the beach, I was tired, I was busy. You were a bus driver, you were a salesman. He was at home, he was at the beach, she was tired, she was busy. And uh, it was Sunday, for example. It was Sunday. Now we were hungry. We were hungry. We were at the stadium. We were at the stadium. Okay. We were at the park. And you say, we were businessmen. We were businessmen, we were soldiers. So you can say like that. We were hungry, we were at the stadium, you were at the park, they were, they were businessmen, they were soldiers. We were businessmen, we were at the park, okay? Like this. For the negative form, we use weren't or wasn't. Wasn't or weren't. For the questions, you move this to the beginning, right? Were you at home? Was she tired? Was she busy? Were you hungry? Were they at the stadium? So we asked them in that way. Okay, so this is. The verb, the verb to be in the past. Okay, my dear ones, let's continue. Let's see. Industry vocabulary. The purpose is to classify industry. We're going to be thinking about that right now. Okay. Let's think about Molsa. What type of what type of business is Molsa? For building. Repeat, please. Arena. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bakery. Bakery yeah. business. Uh huh. You were saying the food industry, right? Food. Food industry. Uh -huh, in the food industry. Okay. Ad hoc is in what industry? For sure. Foodwear, uh -huh. Foodware industry. Calm. What industry? I don't know. industry. Sorry? Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Uh, pharma pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical industry. Okay. Let me see. Like this, no, it's con B, right? Because it's the botelladora. En Bosalva. Food industry. Food industry, ah, exactly. Avianca. Ah, okay, Avianca. Okay. Avianca is in what industry? Travel industry, travel industry, transportation industry. Okay. They they trans 
Uh -huh. They transport people, right? Okay. Movistar. Movistar. La constancia. Ajá, ajá, la constancia, right? <laughs> Teacher is another company. <laughs> okay, so Movistar is what? Telecommunication. Telecommunications industry. Okay, and of course, la constancia. Beer industry. Sí. La constancia. And we say food and drink industry. Uh -huh. They are part of the food and drink industry. Okay. Let me see. In Sinca. What type of food? You remember that in Cinca made Cinca Tex, Cinca Tex Colegial, and I don't know what else. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Clothing industry. In the clothing industry. Okay. Diana. 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 Diana is a friend of mine. Okay. So Diana. Food industry. industry. Food industry. Sello de oro. Aha. Uh -huh. Sello de oro, right? Sello de lo bello. Now we say sello de oro. Do you say the oro? Food industry. Food industry. Olsen. Sorry? Olsen. Olsen. Alas, gemelas Olsen. Okay. No se escribe. Olsen. 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 Cemento Olsen. Ah, okay. <laughs> I say Olsen. <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen, no. Okay. No. <laughs> Let me see. To be honest, I don't remember how you write it. Uh, H O L S E M. Ah, no, creo I. I. Se me olvidó la I. M. Ajá. Ah, con I. Con I. Sí, Olsen. Con M. Like this, uh -huh. Uh -huh. M. Uh -huh. And this, they are in what industry? Cement. Construction. Construction uh -huh. industry. The construction industry. Construction. Okay, excellent. Holiday in hotel. Okay. Let's see. H-S-O. Holiday in hotel. Uh -huh. What's the industry? Touristic. Maybe the touristic industry. La Salo. Be... Sorry? La Salo? Let me see. Okay. Let's say industry. Let's say touristic industry. Industry. Okay. Excuse me, Don Gilberto. We we'll see industry. I'm very slow oh, here. <laughs> okay. Tourist industry. Touristic industry. Okay. Uh -huh. la, la salud, you said. Sí, products, leche, uh -huh. derivado. De... Okay, excellent. So it's food industry, right? Food, food industry. industry. 
in the food in the and drink ah uh -huh, food and drink industry yeah because they have chocolatina and all of that uh -huh. Uh -huh. chocolatina is true excellent so the classification of uh, products okay let's continue my minutes okay here we're going to write the past tenses, past tenses of the verbs. Okay. What's a past tense of buy? Both. Both. Bought. Both. Bought. I'm going to try to put them very close together. So. Bought. Okay. This one, past tense of sell. So. 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 Okay. The pronunciation you say, see. Okay. Cost. Past tense cost. of cost. cost. The same, right? Cost. Pay. 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 Pronunciation is pay. Set here. And pay. Hey, get past tense. Good, good. Got. Give. Gave. 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 Past tense. Gave. Gave. Make past tense. Made. 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 Take. Took. 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 Go. Past tense of go. When. 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 Create. Past tense of create. 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 Pronunciation. I'm going to put here the pronunciation. Cre. Let's see. Oops. Creator. Created. Created. Cre created. Created. Past tense of build. 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 Design. 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 Okay. Excellent. Design. Develop. 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 Okay. Let me see if it fits. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit or does it? Yeah, I fix. Produce. 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 Construct. 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 Copy. Copy. Copied, 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 copied. Think. So, so, so. Okay. We pronounce it, there's no symbol for that. Uh, como Z so. española, O T. Thought, thought, so. thought. Okay. Thought. Bring. Brought. 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 Bring. Brought. Teach. Taught. 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 We pronounce it like this. Taught. Teach. Taught. 
Tor. Oh. Remember, the oh. past tense of teach is not touch. We teachers don't touch. Touch is tocar. Teachers don't touch. Es malo. Okay. So, drive. Past tense? Draw. Drove. Draw. Drove. Drove. Call. Cold. 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 Right. Right. Road. 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 This is right. Road. And read. Road. Ah, road. They say like here. Road. Road. And this one read. Ascents. The same spelling, but we pronounce it red. Read. 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 Explain. Explain it. Explained. Explained. Okay. Let's see. Practice. 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 Okay. Practice, practice. Okay. Start. I started. 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 Finish. Finished. 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 Need. Need. Needed. 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 Have. 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 Do. Did. 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 Like. 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 Light. Hate. Hated. 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 No, All sorry. right, my dear Nitos, time for la encuesta. Okay. Nos ponemos la otra cachucha. Okay. Ahora vamos con la encuesta. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's go to the inquest. Okay. First, we're going to watch a video. Watch a video. It says, watch a video, let me share the audio. Okay. Let me share. Here we go. Okay. Um, solo le voy a pedir, eh, por favor, que todos apaguen su micrófono para que puedan escuchar correctamente. Por favor. Please. Okay. Here we go. The Beatles. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo.
De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocarlo. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, now let's continue. Eh, vamos a empezar. Eh, Todos recibieron el, el correo. No, teacher. Yo, lo, yo lo estoy buscando, teacher, teacher. Pero no lo encuentro. No. no, 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 no en el grupo no, no me han mandado eso. No, en el grupo sí, no teacher, yo lo recibí. Ustedes no, lo, lo mandaron, lo mandaron. Pero el, en este, los datos generales, pero le, con la información, son en los correos, ¿no? Ajá. Eh, se, as está. se aseguraron de qué correo utilizaron para matricularse. Porque a, a ese yes. correo es que les iban a mandar la información. Sí. Si, si no, no ha caído en mi caso, Tichi. 
No le cae. Tenía en el mío. No. Nunca me mandan ese correo. Ya. Entonces, para la próxima ocasión, eh, díganle a la persona que envía la información que copie bien el correo o, o le dan el correo actual para que cambien la información en la base de datos. Entonces, para que vamos a apoyar para poder desarrollar. No. Teacher, pero la información, eh, incluso le, el enlace, está también en el grupo. Ahí ah, donde da toda la información, abajo está el ahí, enlace. Para ahí, el pueden, ahí la pueden ver, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero, correcto. Ok, de acuerdo. Entonces, en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. En el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí está. Entonces, de ahí tomen. Vamos Lo acabas hacer... de mandar al chat. Lo mandaron al chat también, ok, excelente. El señor Solorza nos lo ha mandado, ok, gracias. Ok, bien, ahora vamos. En el correo sí cae, dice, porque a mí se me cayó. Sí, bueno, pero para, por los que no les cayó, pues, ¿verdad? Este, vámonos, vámonos ahorita al link. Aquí está el link, se lo voy a compartir para que lo vean. Y vamos a ir completando juntos. Me avisan cuando hayan eh, ya, aquí yo ya logré ingresar, este, mister. Perdón. Sí, Denis. Le decía que ya logré ingresar, entonces ya, ya estoy completando la información. No, espérame, todavía no. Vamos a ir paso a paso juntitos. Y a okay, pie juntitos. Okay. O sea, no se me adelanten, por favor. De acuerdo. De acuerdo, mister. Ok. No coman ansias. Hold your horses, dice. Hold your horses. No, ahorita vamos despacito. Ok, vamos tranquilos, ¿sí? Ahora, let's, let's begin with the name. Completan, por favor, con su nombre, ¿verdad? Ingresen su nombre completo. In, perdón, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegar. Lo puede copiar del chat y pegarlo en, en la encuesta. ¿Es la orden de inicio, Batichar? Sí, creo que inicia como... Ahí se los puse yo en el grupo de un solo, la, la orden de inicio. Cabal, ahorita lo puso también otro. Alguien más la puso en el chat, perdón. Ok. Sí, esa es la, la orden de inicio, 29750, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Solo la seleccionan, la copian y la pegan. La pueden ver allí en donde estoy compartiendo. Le voy a hacer un poquito más grande la pantalla para que para los que están usando teléfono. Vamos a ver si es cierto que me lo acepta. Dice que está por 180. Ahí va. Ok. Vamos. Este es, este es la lo que tienen que introducir. Vaya. Ahora vamos con el nombre, nombre completo. Su nombre. Por ejemplo, Roberto Carlos Alvarenga Gámez. O Olga Tatiana Portillo Miranda. O Geraldine. Eh, no me acuerdo el nombre. Bárbara Geraldine Mena Albanés. Ana, Ana Geraldine. ¿Perdón? Ana Geraldine Mena. Ah, ok. Entonces, <ríe> ponga el nombre completo. Yes. Ok. Ya pusimos nuestro nombre, vamos al correo electrónico. 
el correo electrónico que ustedes eh, utilizaron para inscribirse. ¿Lo recuerdan? Sí, yo sí. recuerdo. Ok, you remember. Gracias, Excelente. Ya terminamos, ok. Vamos al número de celular. Coloquen su número de celular. Digiten su número de celular en el 4. Teacher, ¿puede darme el número de primero, por favor? Perdón, Dani. El, el la orden. Número. El número de orden. Sí, sí, por favor. Ya, Ahí está en, el, está en el chat, Dani. Cópielo del chat. Ok, ya lo vi. De acuerdo. Ok. Ya colocaron, ya digitaron el número de celular. Sí. Sí, ahora vamos con el sexo. Seleccionen femenino o masculino como corresponde. Ahora departamento de residencia. Despliegan y seleccionan donde desplegaron, seleccionan el departamento. Y ya les aparece. Ya seleccionamos el departamento. Ok. Vamos. Excelente. Ahora vamos al de municipio de residencia. Allí tienen que escribir el, municipio, el nombre del municipio. Si es San Salvador, San Salvador o eh, donde ustedes vivan, colocan el nombre ahí. ¿Ya lo completaron? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Let's go then. Empresa donde trabaja. Si no recuerdan el nombre o la razón social, eh, con gusto se las digo, no hay problema. Teacher, recuérdeme, please. De acuerdo, ahorita, permiso. Voy a buscársela. Y si alguien más la necesita, me avisa para que todos la pongamos bien, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Eh, Ana Mercedes Alvarado Herrera. Es lo que aparece aquí como OP. Solamente. Sí, aparece creo, ah, Ana Mercedes. Entre paréntesis tendría que decir. Sí, óptica dice óptica, óptica, hay support. Okay. En paréntesis. Dice Ana Mercedes Alvarado Herrera, óptica, hay support. Ese es el suyo. ¿Alguien más necesita? You. You're welcome. Para la... ¿Alguien más necesita? El mío, te Robertí. Roberto, 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 sí. Sí, permite. Veamos. Servicios Colón SADCB. Ok, gracias, teacher. Solo que ahora sería servicios dólar, ¿verdad? Ah, ah sí, teacher. le cambiamos. <risa> ok, <risa> servicio. <risa> servicio Soy Colón. Yo, Vamos a ver quién. Solo oigo las vocecitas, no sé quién. Keylor Navas. Quiero ver, no tengo Keylor. Carla. Carla. Okay. Carla. William Roque, teacher, perdón. Ok, so, Carla es 
Mod, Mod Technologies, SADCB. Carla. Okay, thank you. Mod, Mod. Y yes, William, ¿verdad? William Boris. Yes, teacher. Servicios Profesionales de Ingeniería SA. Ser Profin. Mm. Uh, ser Profin. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Teacher, y Global Import Spy le aparece SADCB. Eh, permítame, don, don Gilberto. Global Import Spices. ¿Sí? SADCB. Uh -huh. Ok. Global Perfecto. Import okay. Spices SADCB. Sí, no hay problema. ¿Alguien más? Salvador, le saluda. Ah, hello, Final. Salvita. Veamos, veamos el suyo. Eh, Mediterranean Shipping Company, El Salvador, SADCB. Ok, sí, gracias. Mediterranean Shipping Company, El Salvador, SADCB. Okay. ok, gracias. Excelente. ¿Alguien más? Eso es para que los completemos, lo completemos bien. Ok. okay. Perfecto, entonces sigamos. Ya tenemos la razón social o la empresa donde usted trabaja. Ahora vamos con el nombre del proveedor que le capacitó. Vamos a desplazarnos y vamos a buscar inglés corporativo Regal International SADCB. Y le damos clic. Le tiene que aparecer así como aparece aquí. Inglés corporativo. Regal International SADCB. ¿Ya lo completamos? Yes. Excelente. Ahora vamos con el nombre del curso. En el nombre del curso solo lo copiamos. No necesitan la, las comillas, sin las comillas. Veamos. Sin las comillas. Sin las ya comillas. él había puesto las comillas. Sí, no necesitan las comillas. Las comillas le aparecen ahí, pero para recordarle lo importante. O sea, se las quitamos, por favor. Se las quitamos porque esas no, es, no son parte del nombre. ¿Okay? Okay. Solo así. Inglés principiante módulo 3. Ese sería el no. Ahora vamos a la 11. Vamos a la 11. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos, aquí dice relativos, pero todos nos equivocamos, relativos al curso. Las Digamos, las características o las, la, lo que vamos a evaluar es, ¿cómo lo vamos a evaluar? Dice insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. Entonces, ¿cómo considera el tiempo? O sea, el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso. ¿20 días es suficiente? O sea, ¿20 días o 40 horas es suficiente? para desarrollar el contenido del curso o es muy poco, entonces usted pone excelente, bueno, aceptable, como usted crea evaluarlo. Y luego el siguiente, ¿qué opina del contenido y la estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de los temas y cómo se dis distribuyeron a través del curso? Ese sería, usted lo evalúa. Y el último, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Eh, siempre recordando que no ponemos audio porque no tenemos audio propio y no podemos usar material de tercero. ¿verdad? Entonces, y tampoco podemos poner videos de YouTube porque derechos de autor. Entonces, en ese caso, es eso. 
le evalúa usted aquí? Vale, ahora vamos en el 12. ¿En qué fecha inició el curso? Nos vamos de nuevo aquí y seleccionamos la fecha. 6 de marzo. ¿Verdad? Y en este caso le vamos a dar a, a, hacia abajo. Le damos a la flechita que está para arriba. A la flechita le damos para arriba y nos regresamos a marzo. En marzo colocamos 6. Y le va a aparecer en este orden. 3, que es el mes, 6 el día. En mi caso, porque está, le apare, aparece en inglés, no sé si a ustedes le aparece igual. Sí, porque le bueno, aparece 6 del 3 del 2023. Sí, igual para okay. me aparece a mí. Pero, pero ustedes ven que dice March. Sí. Va, ok, sí. de acuerdo. Marzo 23. Perdón, marzo 3. Marzo 6, perdón, marzo 6. Marzo 6, sí, sí. Sí, marzo 6. Porque 23 es ahorita. Es el día de hoy, cuando terminamos. ¿En qué fecha termina? Eh, vamos a poner... ¿Qué fecha es hoy? 3 de abril. Entonces aquí buscamos la fecha y colocamos... 3 de abril. Y como esta es una reposición, yo creería que tendríamos que poner la fecha del viernes. Pero no me dijeron nada de eso. Entonces. Ahí en, ahí en WhatsApp, teacher, está 3 de abril como fecha de 3 de abril aparece. 3 de abril aparece, ¿verdad? Sí, en el WhatsApp. Correcto. Ah, por, por eso está bien. Dejémosle 3 de abril. Es la fecha de finalización. Ok. Ahora, antes de completar esto, tengo que leerles un script. Esta no es mi voz. Estoy leyendo. Estoy leyendo, pero eh, lo que dice es válido. Y dice... En el punto 14, eh, cada uno deberá marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho. Les aclaro que este punto no se refiere a cómo usted se siente con usted mismo por haber cumplido o no. Tampoco se refiere a que no le parecen cosas como el manual o el hecho de tener la cámara encendida o alguna acción de alguno de sus compañeros. Este punto se refiere únicamente a cómo he impartido la clase académicamente y a cómo nuestro equipo administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de los procesos. Usted puede seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones, satisfecho o insatisfecho. Al seleccionar la opción de insatisfecho, nosotros nos damos por enterados de que no procederá con la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Vaya, aquí les voy a explicar a qué se refiere. Alguien me dijo, eh, nos están coartando para que no pongamos insatisfecho. No, no se refiere a eso. A lo que se refiere es que si usted está satisfecho con nosotros, Insafor le va a seguir permitiendo que usted estudie con nosotros. Pero si usted no está satisfecho, Insafor le va a buscar a usted algún lugar donde usted pueda sentirse satisfecho estudiando el idioma. A eso se refiere. No es que usted, si usted lo pone, entonces lo sacamos. No se refiere a eso. En eso se refiere a que si usted está satisfecho, va a seguir. Si no está satisfecho, va a buscar otro lugar donde satisfagan lo que usted está buscando. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ese es el punto. Entonces, por eso se, se, se aclara. ¿Sí, Olguita? Sí, y vaya mi caso, por lo menos yo, 
pondría satisfecho, pero si satisfecho significa seguir, en mi caso el próximo módulo no lo podría llevar el siguiente mes. Sí, por pero cuestión puede, personal. Pero, puede pero lo después. puedo leer. Ah, ok, no importa que no sabe, lo lleve. No, ¿sabe qué sucede? Ah. Si usted pone satisfecho, la próxima vez en que, cuando usted regrese, puede seguir con nosotros. Pero si usted pone insatisfecha, la próxima vez que usted regrese, la pondría ya en no algún centro de... Ah, ok. En algún otro centro, ¿verdad? Eso sería la única diferencia. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue with 15. 15. Mencione que otros cursos son de su interés. Pueden tomar ofimática, digamos... Excel, PowerPoint o no sé qué otros hay, pero ustedes pueden poner algún nombre allí de algún tema que ustedes consideren interesante que, que ustedes quisieran tomar. Y yo creo que ellos entenderían a qué ustedes se refieren y los pondrían en un curso más cercano a eso, ¿verdad? Bueno, y en el 16... Comentarios. Usted escribe en el espacio el comentario que usted quiera hacer, ¿verdad? Ahí queda abierto. Una vez usted termine de escribir su comentario, si, si quiere escribir comentario, tampoco es obligatorio, usted le da a enviar, le da clic en el botoncito, no sé, un tipo, un tipo de verde, ¿verdad? Le da clic y lo envía. Y cuando usted lo envíe, va a recibir un mensaje. Su, su encuesta ha sido enviada, gracias. Y bueno, usted le toma una captura y la envía por WhatsApp. Y ahí le pone en la parte de abajo su nombre completo. La captura y el nombre completo. Y con eso terminamos la encuesta. Ahora lo que yo voy a hacer es revisar cuántos... Han, han mandado y cuántos no, para asegurarnos de que todos lo hagan. Y che, yo ya oh, se me olvidó ponerle el nombre, lo voy a borrar y lo voy a volver a mandar. Ah, ok, de acuerdo, sí. Bye. Sí, ya tengo. Ajá. Tengo el de Daniel de Jonathan, Gil, Don Gilberto, José Andrés, Katy, Susana. Como 20 estamos presentes, entonces esperaría lo de los 20. Edwin, porque ya no vino, no sé qué le sucedió a Edwin. Ya no supimos nada de él. Okay. Susana y Carla Jasmine Rivera. Ok. Tengo el de Omar, de Olguita y de Ana Geraldine Mena. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Tengo 12, me faltan 8. Ok, 13. Faltan 7.
faltan seis. Me falta el de flor, me falta el de Oliver. De flor. De Ahorita, Oliver. Tichar, ya casi lo mando. Ok, excelente. William, me falta el de Dennis. Ya casi, Tichar, ya casi. Ya tengo el de flor, tengo el de William. Ok. Cuatro me falta. Tengo el de Oliver. Me falta, quiero ver. Bueno, en realidad estamos 18. Creo que. Ya tengo el de Denny, solo que no le puso nombre de él. Por favor, mándelo de nuevo y le pone nombre. Por favor. Dijo, dijo mi nombre, Tichal, disculpe. Denis, vuelvan a mandarlo, por favor, y le pone nombre. Porque me voy ahorita en este momento. Gracias. Okay. Let's check the attendance and you tell me if you sent. When you hear your name, please say sent. Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Present. Sent, right? Sent teacher. Sorry. Yes. No, no, don't worry. It's okay. I'm I'm double checking that you sent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Anna Geraldine Mena. Present teacher. Did you send it, Niñita? Present. <laughs> Did you send the yeah. survey? Envió la encuesta, sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Ajá, Bárbara no, entonces Blanca Flor. Yes, teacher. Excelente. Carla, Carla Jasmine. Send. Send. Present. Excelente. Excelente. Carlos Jonathan García. Sent, teacher. Sent, excellent. Uh, Daniel, er, Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Sent. Sent, excellent. Denis Fernando Flamenco. 
Gracias, mister. Eh, en dos minutos le envío, en uno. En eh, 30 segundos, por favor. Ok, ok, ahorita, ahorita. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Edwin ya no vino, ¿verdad? Ok. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Ten, teacher. Excellent, nice. José Andrés Martínez. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sent, right, Andresito? Yes, teacher. I sent. Excellent, nice. Katy Briseida Hernández. Sent. Excellent. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Sent, teacher. Sent, excellent. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Sent, teacher. Sent, excellent. Oliver Van Trigueros. Send, teacher. Send, excellent, nice. Omar Alexander Chávez. <coughs> Send, teacher. Excellent, nice. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Send, teacher. Excellent, nice. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Rolando Danilo. Is not here, right? Teacher, Rolando. No, Rolando vino. me dijo que no podía entrar. Eh, en, mandaron en, en el WhatsApp, mandaron el link para que entrara. Quizás A mí me comentó internet, que intentó y no le, no el le salió. internet no le salió. Eh. Pero sí, este, me dice ya diciendo que no puede entrar. Mm. Mister, no sé si le llegó ya mi encuesta. Sí, Denis, ya me llegó. Este, no sé si le puso nombre, le puso nombre. Sí, sí, le puse nombre, mister. Ah, perfecto, entonces no, no hay problema. Eh, voy a refrescarlo porque no aparece. Aparece sin nombre. Solo aparece su, que lo mandó, la foto que, man, que mandó, pero no aparece el nombre. No, en este momento, ahorita, ahorita. Ok, um, son Rolando, Rolando. Y necesito que Rolando haga el final, el examen También final. También le escribí, ¿no? le pasé los datos, pero no. me sigue diciendo que no pudo entrar y no sé si va a hacer la encuesta, aunque le pasé los datos. Sí, que lo haga, que la haga y que la mande. Y que la mande. Y que me mande okay. que la hizo, por favor. Okay. Y también que haga el examen final, porque si no, ahorita solo tiene como 44% y el examen final es 50%. El que no haya hecho el examen final no llega ni a 60%, porque el examen final es el 50%. Así okay. que... Esto va con Oliver, va con Dennis, va con otros que no han hecho el, el final, por favor háganlo, porque es el 50% de toda la nota. Y yo tengo que dar esto por terminado a medianoche. A medianoche tengo que ya finiquitar esto. Entonces, por favor, voy a revisar a medianoche y lo que hayan hecho. Entonces, eso voy a reportar y los que no lo hayan hecho, pues, mucho. De acuerdo, este día se lo envío, Ticha. Ok, thank you. Yo thank ya you. paré, lo terminé, Ticha. Creo que sí. Eh, oh, no. Creo que sí. Pero no le puedo, no puedo dar mi brazo a torcer. No, no puedo meter <risa> mis manos al fuego. Pero yo creo que sí. Es que yo recuerdo algunos que no lo han hecho, pero usted no, no recuerdo que me aparezca como que no, no lo hizo. Que las tareas yo llegaba a estar hasta la 20, creo, y ahí se pasaba el, el examen. Sí, correcto, así es. Ya le aviso, ya le digo. William Boris Roque. Sent, teacher. Sent, excelente. William, también usted quiero que me trabaje en la plataforma hoy, porfa, porque sí estamos en lo de la parte plataforma si estamos atrasaditos. Sí, en eso Entonces, estoy, teacher. Ese, le falta la, el home, la tarea 4 y el midterm me lo tiene hasta en 65 y no ha hecho el final. Su promedio ahorita general es de 39. Entonces, por favor, 
Dele. Denis, por favor, no voy a decir su nota. Entonces, por favor, eh, está difícil, pero no es imposible para la medianoche. Eh, de, acuerdo, de acuerdo, vamos a ver. Oliver también, me, necesito la tarea 4 y el final. De acuerdo, de ahí, teacher. De ahí de Omar, de Omar necesito la tarea 3, la tarea 4, el midterm y el final. Ya su, ya los terminé, eh, teacher. Ya los terminó. Sí, hoy por terminó? la tarde. Como ¿A antes de la clase, como a las 7.30. Terminó todo. Todo. Bien, ah, pues ya lo voy a actualizar. Porque tenía 14 en nota final. Veamos. Y si a mí me mencionó, que no me que me menciona. <risas> Rolando no está. Eh, Salvador. No, Salvador tiene todo completo. Tiene 100 de promedio final. Teacher, a mí también no me ha mencionado. Porque usted tiene 96 de nota final, entonces tiene todo. A pesar de que en el Homework 4 tiene 76, no importa. Llega a 96. Sí, porque creo que es la única baja que tengo. Eh, tiene 92 en el 1, 96 en el 2 y 76 en el 3, 95 en el midterm y en el final sí sacó 100. O sea, las dos que llevó al tope son la tarea, 4, tarea 3 y el final. Y tiene 96 porque sí, el final es 50%. Ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más? Yo, teacher, entonces al final ya, sí, completé. Eh, sí, quiero ver. Sí, tiene 100%, a pesar de que la tarea 2 solo hizo hasta 96, pero le queda por medio de 100. Está bien. Uh -huh. Excelente. No me problema. Ok. Por favor, ay, ayúdenme con eso. De acuerdo. Determinarlo antes de la medianoche, para que yo a la medianoche pueda reportar eso. Por favor. Ok. Ok. Let's continue. Ok, let's continue with the class. We have, let me share. Ok. Let's see. Because of time, we're going to complete this one. Okay. Complete with the correct verbs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what do we use in this one? Where, Where do, you, do you buy your shoes? Sure. Excellent. Where do you buy your shoes? Where do you buy your shoes? Excellent. Number two. How much do they eat? Shoes. How much do they? Buy? Hey. How much do they? Cost. 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 How much do they cost? And number three. A spend. Do you spend a lot of money on clothes? Excellent. Spend. Do you spend a lot of money on clothes? For who are? What options do we have for this one? And B, who sells these products? Past tense. Okay, who sold? Right. But we say porque in general, but you say who buys, who buys these products, who sells these products. Okay, five, how do you, how do you? Yes. How do you pay? How do you pay? How do you pay for your 
purchases. How do you pay for your purchases? Do you pay cash, by credit card? How do you pay? Six, do you mm -hmm, your product soon? Receive. Receive, do you receive, do you get? Do you receive your products soon? Okay. Do you get? Do you get your products soon? Uh -huh. Seven. Do you mm -hmm, to use a credit card to buy online? Do you need? Do you need to use? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Do you need to use a credit card to buy online? Eight, how long does it? How long does it take? How long does it take? And we can add you. How long does it take you to shop online? It takes you five minutes. This company, nice products. How? Oh, this company have nice products. Okay, this oh. company has or sells and or tends. makes, right? Makes, sells. Uh -huh. You said something else? Sends. Sends. Yeah, if you buy them, they send them. Exactly, yes, they send. Okay, what about them? Sales. Um, they their products at reasonable prices. They sell? They sell. They sell their products at reasonable prices. 11, I usually... Yes. This, I usually call... I usually call this number. They always... Sense. They always... Oh, answer. Answer. They always answer quickly. Okay, excellent. We have, where do you buy your shoes? How much do they cost? Do you spend a lot of money on clothes? Who sells these products? Who buys these products? How do you pay for your purchases? Do you receive your products soon? Do you need to use a credit card to buy online? How long does it take you to shop online? This company has nice products. This company makes nice products. This company sells nice products. Do they sell their products at reasonable prices? I usually call this number. They always answer quickly. Okay, excellent. We're going to, here, we're going to work together. How do we make the questions here? Do you do at night? What, what are the you... possibilities? <laughs> what? what? What do you do at night? What do you do at night? Do you go after class? Go to places, right? So what's the question? Where? Where? Where do you go after class? Frequency. Frequency? How often do you go to this in them? How often? 
How often do you go to the cinema? Okay. Total time. How long? How long? How long do you play video game? Five. Makes dinner at home. Person. Person. Who? Who? Who makes dinner at home? Helps you in times of need. Person. How? Oh. Person. Who? 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 Who helps you? Who helps you in times of need? Excellent. Seven. Are you here? What? They show you a picture. Where are you here? Exactly. Where are you here? Where are you here? Eight. Do you want to have for dinner tonight? No. Do you yes. want to have dinner tonight? Why? What do you want? Why? Um, why do you want to have dinner? Yes, it's a good question. Why do you want to have dinner tonight? But normally, when it's possible, but there is one that is better like that. Who? No. What? Um, another one? Oh, who, who, where? Where? Where do you want to have dinner tonight? Okay, let's go to a Chinese restaurant. Chinese, a Chinese restaurant. Nine, do you Where's take your food? take your vacation? When? 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 You can say when. when. You change from where. Where do you take your vacation? When do you take your vacation? I I put where right. So, but I, yes, you're you're right. You can use when to. To have it different. Book do you prefer? What which, book do you prefer? Which, which right? Which. which which book do you prefer? Which book do you prefer? Eleven. When when Where? do you go for vacation? When do you go on vacation? But for vacation is more like and you say to the beach, to the mountains, to the city. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Where do you go for vacation? And uh, two words, two words. Money do you spend daily? How much? How, How much? much? How, How much? much? How much money. money do you spend daily? How much money do you spend daily? 13, friends do you have? How, how many? How many? Excellent. How, how many friends do you have? Okay. 14, are you learning English? Reason, what's the reason? Why? Why? Where? Why are you learning English? Why are you learning English? What do you do at night? Where do you go after class? How often do you go to the cinema? How long do you play video games? Who makes dinner at night at home? Who helps you in times of need? Where are you now? Or where are you here? Where do you want to have dinner tonight? When do you take your vacation? Which book do you prefer? Where do you go for vacation? How much money do you spend daily? How many friends do you have? Why are you learning English? Excellent. Now here, complete with do or does. Who? Do. Do, yeah. Who do you oh. go out with? When? 
Does. When does. does the bank open? When does the bank open? Why do, do, do why do, do you need why do you need money? money. Where does that where does Maria live? Five. What does do, do, do. do. What I had do right because there are two people. Why do Mark and Susan uh, want? Why do Mark and Susan want? What do they want? Which book? Does does uh, do do, do, right? do do Which book do you read at night? Which book do you read at night? How long does does? How long does Mark play the piano? How often? Do. How often? Does, does, does your mom? How often does, does your mom does, cook dinner? Does, how far do, do you go jogging? How do, do you feel? How do you feel do, after the exam? Do. 11. What? What does what does, does what does your does, sister study? Twelve. What, what does your father? What does your father watch on TV? Does what does your father watch on TV? What time does your mom does, get up? What time does your mom get up? Fourteen. What time does does. does what time does your father leave for work? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Teacher. Tell me, Robert. Uh, number five. Uh, because do you use do? Number five. Mark and Mark and Susan. Two One. people. Two people. Two people. They. Okay. Mark and Susan, two people. They. Two people. Uh huh. What do they want? What do they want? Do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's go to the other one. Let's practice this conversation. Okay, if we have time, we go back to the other one. It says, hello, I know you're busy, but can I ask you something quickly? Okay, what is it, Tony? It's about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure, it's no secret. We are in the telecommunications industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, if you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer fixed lines. Okay, we're missing a EB. We offer fixed lines, mobile lines too. It all depends on what the customer needs. Uh, do people have to pay in advance? Not really. You can pay in advance, but you can also pay at the end of the month. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one, no problem, okay? Hello, I know you're busy, but can I ask you something quickly? Okay, what is it, Tony? It's about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure, it's no secret. We are in the telecommunications industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, if you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer fixed lines, Mobile, mobile lines too. It all depends on what the customer needs. Do people have to pay in advance? Not really. You can, you can pay in advance. You can also pay at the end of the month. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one. No problem. Okay, let's go to the groups and let's practice this conversation. <laughs> Okay, the groups are opening. Please join. Let's 
let's join. Ahorita voy. Voy ante papá. Excellent. Practice the following conversation. Tony, hello. I know you're busy, but can I ask you something quickly? Okay, what is it, Tony? It's about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure. It's no secret. We are in the telecommunication industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, if you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer six lines. 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 Mobile, lines. Uh, six lines. lines. Mobile lines, two. It are dependent on what the customer needs. Needs. Do people have to pay in advance? Not really. You can pay in advance, but you can also you pay. Can also... You can also pay at the end of the month. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one. No problem. Otra pareja. Next. Michoni. For the right price, we offer fixed lines, mobile lines too. It all depends on what the customer needs. Do people have to pay in advance? Not really. You in can advance. pay in advance. Advance? In advance? Advance. You can pay in advance. But you can also pay at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one. No problem. Next. Hello. I know you're bus busy, but can I ask you something quickly? Something. Quickly. Something. Something quickly. No sé quién me va a ayudar. Si gusta, si gusta le ayudo yo porque Flor creo no, que no, okay. no sé. Okay. Hola, yo. Ok. What is it? What is it? What is it, Tony? It's Tony. You make it. It's about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure, it's no secret. We are, we are in the telecommunication industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, if you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer fixed lines, mobile lines too. It all depends on what the customer needs. The, the people have to pay in advance. Pay to pay in advance? To pay in advance. Not really. You can pay in 
depends, but you can also pay at the end of the month. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one. I owe you one. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. I own you one. No problem. Okay. Okay. Ahora yo comienzo, Gilberto. Okay, don Andrés, lo sigo. Hello, I know you're busy, but can I ask you something quickly? Okay. What is it, Tony? It is about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure. It is no secret. We are in the, in the communication industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, a you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer fixed lines, mobile lines too. Lines too. It all depends. Mobile line two. Mo mobile lines, lines. Mobile yeah. line, mobile line two. It all depends on what the customer needs. 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 Customer do the, need. Do the people have to pay in advance? Not really. You can pay in a in advance. But you can also pay in the end in the month. Of the month, at the end of the month. On the month. Thank you, Becky. I own you arm. No problem. Okay. Next. Apply the past tenses. Okay. We are eight people out. Let's wait for the others. 10, 11, 14 people out. Okay, excellent. Now let's see, what verb do we use in number one? Who wants to do number one? One volunteer for one? We. Won't. Won't, won, right? Our team. Our team won three games in a row. Three games in a row. Oh, in Limit. Tres, uh, tres juegos en Limit. Three games in a row. Okay, what about number two? Volunteer for two? Arrived. Okay. Arrived. We have other possibilities. We arrived yet late yesterday. We came late yesterday. We ate late yesterday, right? 
we slept late yesterday, etc. Mm -hmm. Three, I what? I take. I took, I took a taxi home last night. I took a taxi home last night. How about number four? What do we have for number four? Was. Traffic was really awful last night. Five, Becky out with her boyfriend last night. Becky has. Sí. Sorry? Sí. Becky has. Yes. Went. 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 Yeah. went. Okay. Becky went out with her boyfriend last night. Six, I ate. I ate, okay. I ate, I had, I ate a big breakfast this morning. I had a big breakfast this morning. Excellent. Cook. Cooked, is possible, cooked. Tony, what? Tony? Taught. Taught. Took, right? Took, uh, took. Took. Tony took care of his father all last night. Teacher took care of cuidar. Cuidar, cuidó a su papá toda la noche. Uh -huh. Tony took care of his father all last night. Maureen, what? Maureen? Work it. Another one? Did. Did, right? Maureen did her homework after class. Maureen did her homework after class. Bessie, a glass of milk this morning. Drunk. Drank. Excellent. Then the boys. Played. Play. The boys played soccer. Played soccer all afternoon yesterday. The boys played soccer all afternoon yesterday. So our team won three games in a row. I arrived late yesterday. I took a taxi home last night. Traffic was really awful last night. Becky went out with her boyfriend last night. I ate a big breakfast this morning. Tony took care of his father all last night. Maureen did her homework after class. Bessie drank a glass of milk this morning. The boys played soccer all afternoon yesterday. Excellent. Dear Angelitos, let's go to attendance. Attendance. Alison Andrea Serran. Present teacher. Excellent. Good night. Good night. Anna Geraldine Mena. Anna Geraldine Mena. Okay. Bárbara Azucena Rivas. ¿Qué te dejo mi hermana ahorita? ¿Cuál? Okay. ¿El que está ahí? Blanca Flor Jiménez. Present. present. Excellent. Anna, nice. Anna, present. Ok. Flor, present. No me funcionaba el micrófono. Don't worry, it's ok. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher, thanks for the time. Hey, you're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. 
Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Good night. Thank you for everything. Yes, you're welcome, my friend. Welcome. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Present, mister. Have a good night. See you soon. You too. See you soon, my friend. Take care. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. We miss Edwin. We don't know what happened. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Take care, my friend. Good night. Jose Andres Martinez. Present teacher. Thanks Excellent. for everything. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Good night. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Present. Okay. Good night. Take care. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you for the class. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Oliver Van Trigueros. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you for all. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Omar Alexander Chavez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, take care. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher, thank you for your help. You're welcome, my friend. Good night, take care. Good night. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. He, didn't, he couldn't enter, okay. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Good night, my friend, take care. Susana Andrea Urbina, you're welcome. Present teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Take Happy care. holidays. To you too. Happy holidays. <laughs> William Boris Rock. Present teacher, good night. Good night, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. Thank you for everything. Thank you for working hard. <laughs> you really studied. So, hey, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good I will Good miss night. you. Okay. Thank Take you. care, my friends. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Enjoy your vacation. Okay. Yes, teacher. Enjoy your vacation. Vacation off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Take care. See you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye, Alison. Good night. Hello. I know you're busy, but can I ask you something quickly? OK, what is it, Tony? It's about companies. Can you tell me about yours? Sure. It's no secret. We are in the telecommunications industry. We supply the right device for you. For example, if you need a cell phone, we have it for the right price. We offer fixed lines, mobile lines too. It all depends on what the customer needs. Do people have to pay in advance? Not really. You can pay in advance, but you can also pay at the end of the month. Thank you, Becky. I owe you one. No problem. Practice the following conversation. Wow, I'm really tired. Really? Why? I had to move boxes to different offices on different floors. They were really heavy. That's why. I understand. I had a hard day too. I had to type five different reports for the board of directors. Was that about sales? Yes. Also about production, budget, acquisition, and security. You must be very tired too. I am, but I'm used to typing reports. Good for you. I'm going to lie down for a moment. Go ahead and keep quiet. Press well, my dear friend. Again. Wow, I'm really tired. Really? Why? I had to move boxes to different offices on different floors. They were really heavy. That's why. I understand. I had a hard day too. 
I had to type five different reports for the board of directors. Was that about sales? Yes. Also about production, budget, acquisition, and security. You must be very tired too. I am, but I'm used to typing reports. Good for you. I'm going to lie down for a moment. Go ahead, I'll keep quiet. Rest well, my dear friend. Hey, our team won three games in a row. I arrived late yesterday. I took a taxi home last night. Traffic was really awful last night. Becky went out with her boyfriend last night. I ate a big breakfast this morning. Tony took care of his father all last night. Maureen did the homework after class. Bessie drank a glass of milk this morning. The boys played soccer all afternoon yesterday. Put in order. Put in order. Jogging, what you time go do? What time do you go jogging? What time do you go jogging? Make time your what does mom breakfast? What time does your mom make breakfast? What time does your mom make breakfast? Work father, where does your, where does your father work? Where does your father work? Study long, do lesson, how do you? How long do you study the lesson? How long do you study the lesson? Mary animals does why hate. Why does Mary hate animals? Why does Mary hate animals? Drives car who the new, who drives the new car? Who drives the new car? Money do how spend food you own much. How much money do you spend on food? How much money do you spend on food? Drive how do well you, how well do you drive? How well do you drive? Sad what you make. What makes you sad? What makes you sad? Teaches you English who? Who teaches you English? Who teaches you English? Do celebrate birthday you when you're. When do you celebrate your birthday? When do you celebrate your birthday? Morning what do in do they you? What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? Get your time, what do you up? What time do you get up in the morning? What time, no, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Soda often you, how do you, how often do you drink soda? How often do you drink soda? How often do you drink soda? Practice this conversation. Hi, Jesse. I'm doing research on companies. Oh, and how can I help you? You know about all of those things, but I don't. How so? Food and drinks are in what kind of industry? The food and drink industry. Wow, that was easy. How about buses, taxis, and cars? The transportation industry. Aspirin, ibuprofen, and acetam acetaminophen. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry, shoes, pants, and shirts, clothing and footwear industry. Thanks, I think this should be enough. What industry are you working in? The telecommunications industry. Thanks, see you around. Buy, bought, sell, Sold, cost, cost, pay, paid, get, got, give, gave, make, made, take, took, go, went, create, created, create, created, build, 
build, build, build, design, designed, develop, 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 produce, produce, construct, constructed, construct, constructed, copy, copied, think, for, think, thought. Bring, brought, bring, brought, each, each, thought, each, thought, drive, drove, call, called, call, called, write, wrote, read, read, explain, explained, practice, Practiced. Start. Started. Finish. Finished. Need. Needed. Have. Had. Do. Did. Like. Liked. Hate. Hated. I bought a pair of shoes last week. She sold her house in $40,000. The book cost $40. She paid the bills last weekend. I got home late last night. She gave me permission to go home. Make, made, sorry, made this lady. Made. I made dinner. Last night, took, take, took. I took a bus this morning. I went to work yesterday. I created a, a new product last month. She built a new factory. They designed a new product. They developed the product in three months. They produced thousands of products. She constructed a railroad. They copied all the files onto the USB drive. They thought about you yesterday. They brought candies to class. They taught me how to drive. She drove home last night. I called home last night. She wrote a beautiful poem yesterday. I read a book last week. She explained the situation to me. I practiced sports when I was young. She started reading the book, but she didn't finish it. She finished uh, the class on time. We needed help with the homework. She had problems in the street. I did the homework after class. She liked the food at the new restaurant. I hated getting up early. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and effort. Good night.